Bridge meteorologist Alex O'Brien joins us from the windswept plains east of Colorado Springs with an update. Alex? Rob, it is windy outside here in far eastern Colorado Springs. We've got the high fire danger in southern Colorado today, again with that low humidity, the heat, and the wind. And any fire that does start under these conditions can spread very rapidly. So we also have drought conditions. So looking at our latest drought monitor, we have two bullseyes of extreme droughts. One area, that's in the eastern plains, and that's dominated by grassland areas. And one zone in the southern mountains, is dominated by forests. So if a wildfire occurs in either of these zones, they would look very different for wild, or for firefighters. After the spring green up, grasses will dry quickly within days or even weeks. Forest fuels will dry slowly after snowpack melts and the green up ends. So a grass fire will burn fast. It covers large acreage in hours or days. But a forest fire will burn more slowly, but it can last up to weeks or even months. So in general, grass fires, they're driven by the wind, while forest fires experience a larger effect from terrain in addition to the winds. Now, fire season in the grasslands, that typically starts in spring, and forest fire season typically starts in summer. And to prevent damage to your property, action starts now. Sometimes uh, when you see trees encroaching up to homes, it, uh, it does add risk to our firefighters when they have to go out there and uh, suppress fire. So we ask that people um, reduce fuels and mitigate fuels around their homes. So whenever, whether you do live in the grasslands or near a forest, the best thing to do right now is to start to chip away at those old grasses from last year that are dried and to clean up those dead pine needles as well. Always watching out for you, Southern Colorado meteorologist Alex O'Brien, News 5.